Hello everyone. So we are continuing with the theories of consumption. Till now we have done two theories that is absolute income hypothesis and real relative income hypothesis. Yesterday we did, we did these two theories. Absolute income hypothesis was put forward by Keynes who said that yes, there is a positive relationship between income and the consumption level. However, this is not a uh, this is not exactly 100% relationship, which means that whenever our income increases, consumption increases, but not by the same amount. It increases by a less amount, lesser amount than the increase in income. Because as per psychological law of Keynes, um, consumers or individuals have tendency to save some part of their increment in income. Then relative income hypothesis, this was put forward by Jay Dussenberry. It says that the consumption pattern is not dependent upon the absolute income. Instead, it is dependent upon the relative income. Relative income in two aspects. One, what was our income prior, highest income achieved prior to our current income? And second, what is our social environment where we are putting up? So he said that if our current income is less as compared to the previously attained income level, then even now when our income level has reduced, we will still consume at our previous levels. And second, if we are living in a social environment in our neighborhood where the consumption expenditure is high, then we will also spend more. This is termed as Dussenberry effect or demonstration effect. मतलब हम जहाँ पे रहते हैं, वहाँ के consumption को copy करने की कोशिश करते हैं. Consumption expenditure उस basis पे होता है. Second effect हमने relative income hypothesis में discuss किया था, Rache effect. Rache effect होता है कि अगर हमारी income reduce भी हो जाती है, तब भी हमारा consumption reduce नहीं होता है. So these were the two consumption theories that we have discussed till now. Today we will focus on life cycle theory of consumption and permanent income theory of consumption. Let us start with the life cycle theory of consumption. So this theory was put forward by Maud Gilani and Ando. According to this theory, the consumption in any period is not the function of the current income of that period. Instead, जो एक individual अपने पूरे lifetime की उसकी income होती है, expected income, उसके basis पे वो अपना consumption pattern derive करता है. मतलब, when an individual is not consuming, so, sorry, when an individual is not generating any income, तो उस time पे वो dis-save करता है, जैसे retirement के time पे, और अभी जब वो income कर रहा है, तो वो save करता है, तो उसका जो consumption pattern है, वो entire life, lifetime में वो कितना income generate करता है, और कैसे उस income को वो allocate करेगा in his entire lifetime, उस पे हमारा consumption expenditure depend करता है, so in life cycle है, Seventy-five years. Say this is seventy-five. Here, this is seventy-five. So while in his working years, as I have mentioned here, this is the dis savings. This is the dis savings that he do. That is, say up to twenty-five years, zero years to twenty-five years, he's not working. So he's dis saving. He might be consuming from his parents' income or some other income source, or maybe borrowing. Whatever, but generally, क्या होता है अगर हम seventy five years हमारा life 
एक्सपेक्टेंसी है तो हम 25 फाइव ईयर्स तक जनरली अपने पेरेंट्स की इनकम पे डिपेंडेंट रहते हैं मतलब हम डिस सेव करते हैं उस टाइम पे एंड आवर मेजर इन इनकम ईयर्स दैट इज फ्रॉम 25 फाइव टू फिफ्टी ये जो हमारे 25 साल होते हैं इसमें हम सेविंग्स करते हैं हम सारी की सारी इनकम कंज्यूम नहीं करते हैं वी डू सेविंग एंड देन 50 टू 75 फाइव ईयर्स दैट इज जो हमारा रिटायरमेंट टाइम होता है उसमें हम इस सेविंग को कंज्यूम करते हैं सो दिस टोटल सेविंग्स विच इज डिनोटेड बाय दिस ट्रायंगल ए एच बी दिस विल बी इक्वल टू दिस सेविंग्स दैट आर दीज टू ट्राइंगल्स दैट इज सी ए वाई एंड बी सी डैश वाई डैश so this is how an individual consumes his income so it is assumed that a typical individual no will die at 75 then it is assumed that the net savings in lifetime is zero that is savings is equal to dis savings and thus this entire triangle ahb is equal to triangle cya plus triangle bc dash y dash This C C dash जो ये हम red line देख रहे हैं यहाँ पे this C C dash this refers to the consumption of an individual and this curve of Y Y dash this is his income curve. So and we are assuming here for simplicity that the interest paid on the assets is zero. Interest received by the consumer on his savings is zero. So this was life cycle. consumption theory there are certain criticisms associated with this theory first is consumer plans over lifetime is unrealistic because a consumer concentrates most on the present rather than on future which is uncertain to ye humne unrealistic assumption li hai is theory mein second it says ki theory assume karti hai that there is a direct relationship between consumption and assets of an individual this might not be true and moreover consumption depends upon one's attitude toward life given the same income and assets one person may consume मोर दैन दी अदर तो ये हम हर कंज्यूमर के लिए जनरलाइज नहीं कर सकते हैं सो दिस वॉज लाइफ साइकिल कंजम्पन थ्योरी हाउ एवर डिस्पाइट द क्रिटिसिजम लाइफ साइकिल कंजम्पन इज सुपीरियर टू अदर हाइपोथिस दैट वी हैव डिस्कस्ड बिफोर वॉट वो दी वॉट वो दोज टू हाइपोथिस देवर परमानेंट इनकम हाइपोथिस सॉरी देवर एब्सोल्यूट इनकम हाइपोथिस एंड रिलेटिव इनकम हाइपोथिस वाई बिकॉज इट इंक्लूड्स नॉट ओनली असेट्स एज वेरिएबल्स इन द कंजम्पन फंक्शन बट इट ऑल्सो एक्सप्लेन्स वाई एम पी सी इन द शॉर्ट रन and why uh, mpc is greater than apc in the short run and why apc is constant in the long run apc constant hota hai long run mein ye is theory ne explain kiya hai by stating and explaining that why this consumption curve straight consumption curve cc dash this is constant which means that apc is constant in the long run so this was our third theory that is life cycle consumption theory next is permanent income theory of consumption so this theory was put forward by friedman and like the life cycle approach which was put forward by montgelani this theory also assumes that consumption is determined by long term expected income and not just by what is our current level of income the assumption say isi understanding say is theory ka naam generate hua hai which is permanent income so what is the relationship between consumption and permanent income according to friedman consumption is proportional to permanent income so here this cp is consumption in current time period is a proportion k refers to the proportion of our permanent income now this permanent income hypothesis says that there are various factors on which our consumption depends they are interest rate or our permanent income and these two factors that we will discuss and then we will come back to this equation so first factor is rate of interest if you remember abhi humne last theory mein discuss kiya tha ye assume kiya tha ki interest rate nahi mil raha hai savings ke upar however this is not true whenever we save we get some interest rate if we save in bank or if we give someone a personal loan then we get interest rate on that so permanent income hypothesis assumes that we get a rate of interest agar hamara rate of interest zyada hoega 
तो हम सेव ज्यादा करेंगे उस टाइम पीरियड में क्योंकि मान लो अगर अभी हम हंड्रेड रुपीज सेव करते हैं जिस पे हमें दस रुपए मिलता है और ये इंटरेस्ट अगर हमारा बढ़ जाता है मतलब हंड्रेड रुपीज पे अगर अब हमें थर्टी रुपीज का इंटरेस्ट रेट मिलेगा तो हम सोचेंगे यार कंजम्पन करंट टाइम पीरियड में हम कम करते हैं सेव ज्यादा करते हैं फ्यूचर टाइम पीरियड में हम ज्यादा कंज्यूम कर लेंगे सो इफ द रेट ऑफ इंटरेस्ट रेट इज हाई देन आवर सेविंग्स विल बी हाई and our consumption in the current time period will be low and vice versa which means that if rate of interest is low then saving in current time period will be less and consumption in current time period will be more ye jo iske niche minus ka sign hai iska matlab hai consumption aur rate of interest mein negative relationship hai next factor is ratio of non human wealth to income कई बार हमारी जो नॉन ह्यूमन वेल्थ होती है डायरेक्टली हमारा जो इनकम से नहीं आता जैसे रेंट है या जैसे हमारे ऑलरेडी असेट्स हैं जो हम इनहेरिट करते हैं तो अगर हमारे पास ये असेट्स ज्यादा होते हैं तो हमारा कंजम्पन भी ज्यादा होता है दैट इज व्हाई वी हैव रिटर्न हेयर पॉजिटिव सिंबल दैट इज द रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन द कंजम्पन इन करंट टाइम पीरियड एंड द नॉन ह्यूमन वेल्थ इज पॉजिटिव ग्रेटर दी वेल्थ डाटा कंज्यूमर होल्ड नॉट हिज इनकम इनकम होती है जो हम काम करके अपनी इनकम या वेजेस जनरेट करते हैं सैलरी जनरेट करते हैं वेल्थ होती है असेट्स जो हम एक्यूमुलेटेड असेट्स होते हैं जहाँ से हमें रेंट मिल रहा होता है ऐसे टाइप के असेट्स सो इनकम फ्रॉम फिजिकल असेट्स दैट इज नॉन ह्यूमन वेल्थ एंड इनकम फ्रॉम लेबर दैट इज ह्यूमन वेल्थ ये डिफरेंस है दोनों में नॉन ह्यूमन वेल्थ में एंड ह्यूमन वेल्थ में so the greater the amount of wealth or assets held by an individual the greater would be its propensity to consume and vice versa last factor is you that is the desire to add to one's wealth rather than to fulfill one's wants or इमीडिएट कंजम्पन अगर हम ये चाहते हैं हमारी ज्यादा से ज्यादा वेल्थ एक्यूमुलेट हो तो हम कंजम्पन इन करंट टाइम पीरियड को कम करेंगे सेव ज्यादा करेंगे वेल्थ एक्यूमुलेशन ज्यादा करेंगे इसीलिए कंजम्पन इन द करंट टाइम पीरियड एंड दिस डिजायर दे इज अ नेगेटिव रिलेशनशिप इसलिए हमने यहाँ पे माइनस लिखा है यहाँ पे एज यू कैन सी हेयर दिस इज माइनस दैट इज नेगेटिव रिलेशनशिप सो फाइनली दिस permanent income hypothesis says that this consumption in the current time period is a proportion of interest rate which is negatively related to consumption in time period in current time period is also dependent upon the non human wealth which has a positive relationship with the consumption in current time period and consumption is also dependent upon the desire to hold Uh, desire to add to our wealth, so this is a negative relationship with the consumption pattern. So all these factors determines that what will be our consumption. So with this, we are we have we are done with our consumption theories. There are four theories that we have done. First is absolute income hypothesis, relative income hypothesis. life cycle theory of consumption and permanent income theory of consumption if there is any doubt in these theories of consumption you can ask me all the best for your preparation take care and uh, we will do the next topic in the next next lesson bye everyone